96.7 and 96.7. Is it true? <laughs> I talked to Carly. You know, I just talked to her. Um, I talked to her yesterday for the first time in a while. So, oh, like, really? Yeah, like we're just trying to get cordial again. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole show thing coming show? through. I don't know. You know, we just started shooting. They really haven't. We haven't shot together yet. But I don't. You know, like we've been away from each other so long. It's just so much stuff. It's like I don't know. You no, know, but me, I'm. I'm pretty cool with everything. You know, Carly's cool. You know, so I ain't got nothing bad to say. About You know, when um, me and Dave were the sole owners of it, um, of, of the magazine, um, like in the mid '90s, uh, Dave had took out a huge loan um, for for the internet side of the source. Mm -hmm. At that time, you know, the internet was still kind of fresh, mm -hmm. and you know, um, it, I think people that invested in, in in the internet at that point with new internet companies sprouting up. I think it was kind of like a gamble because they really didn't know what what was gonna happen, especially with, with hip hop. Right. Um, so, you know, it was it was it was a gamble. It really didn't pay off. You know, at the end of the day, the uh, the loan was like nine million dollars, like twenty one percent interest rate. It's some crazy. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know. But you learned a lot about business. I, I mean, I mean, every everything everything that we've went through was you know a learning experience. Mm -hmm. Me and Dave been through a lot. us up to like from 80 from late 80s to like 2003 right and then you know the funny thing is since 2003 a lot has happened so you know i could do like another you, you know, could do another one yeah like a part you need two. to do another one yeah because a lot a lot a lot's happened since then so. i'm like angry and I, I, I and and i think since i was at the position i was at i think i was just Saying stuff, just doing shit, and just doing it, here. and not and not really, not really understanding who it might affect. Mm. You know, selfish. What were you angry about? That. That you were pretty successful. Just you know, right? Yeah, but it, you know, with me, I I'm from Academy Homes Projects, Four Corners in Boston. So, right. you know, like I, I came from the hood. So really, money money never really kind of like made me the person I, you know, I am. I was. I just felt like if there were issues. And I felt like that was on my, you know, a lot of times in this industry, you have to be politically correct. Right. I'm a lot more calm, I, I think, now. You know, I, I got kids that I'm raising. Right. You know, I'm a single dad. You're a single dad. Yeah, so. That's big. Like, that's like a revolution for, like, some dad. Seriously. Like, you could do, like, some sort of charity and, like, give I mean, back in that sense. I mean. I'm just saying. I mean, you know, like, a, a lot of, one thing I can say about the generation is that, you know, a lot of um guys, you know what I'm saying, love their children. A lot of my friends love their children. If they're able to take care of them in the way that they want, or right. if they're able to live with them, if they're not with their mother no more, that might be kind of taken out of context because the love for them is still there. Right. You know? But a lot of men don't even know how to go about getting their kids. You know, just those things, the steps. Well, a lot of laws like are stacked custody. up against guys in the street. You know, yeah. you don't have a license, child support. There's all kinds of things that kind of you know, hold you back from really trying to be the best father that you can be. And it's not making no excuses. Right. But at the end of the day, you know, it's rough out here. You know, I'm blessed to be in a position where I can have a big house and my kids can live with me. Right. And, you know, so right now, they're, it's the holiday, so, so they're all with their moms now. So uh, it's now just me and the here. rabbit. I got a rabbit, Chloe, at the house. Uh, just just me and Chloe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? So like, I had for a rabbit. Kids? Well, it was more than I would say it's for the kids. But, you know, I, you know, they wanted a dog. I was just like, man... <laughs> I don't know about that cleaning up there. They got a little rabbit. She's like a little miniature rabbit. And oh, as soon as we got yeah. down here, we got her. So, yeah. Chloe. I bet you be charming the chicks with that, huh? Not too many. <laughs> you know what? Not too many people see Chloe. She's on my Instagram. Oh, okay. She's on my Instagram or whatever. But, you know. Look, you got a soft place in your heart for her, too. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, I love, I love Chloe. <laughs> How do you know about saying. Trina? Come on, son. I was in love with Trina. I, I know. Yeah, I was deep in love with you. So maybe she might be the new Trina. Look at me trying to be the love connection. Now, you know what? I like want you and Carly to mess around again. I mean, you know. I don't know why. I just do. I, you know what, Carly? <laughs> I mean, you never know. Even though she told us about you having that chick at the house after the proposal. Look, see. The naked girl in okay, the bed. Now, first of we all. We did hear about What that. people don't understand, right, is that I hadn't seen Carly for weeks. I'm going on almost three weeks. We had to mm -hmm. talk to each other 
we hadn't seen each other. I don't know who Carly was with. Carly didn't know who I was with. It, it was just the fact that, listen, it's over. We're not going to mess with each other no more. I had heard about her with other guys and stuff. Look, don't worry about boys right now. You, you, you got to worry about being the best you can be and the greatest you can be with your mind. Right. Your looks will just be a bonus. But you can accomplish so much and there's so much out there that that you can be a part of and successful at if you just put the time in now. You know, because we, we also live in a society where everything has to be instant gratification. Right. They want it right now. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm just trying to teach my kids patience and just be consistent. Patience, be consistent, do, do good in school, you know, and, 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 and just know that, you know, whatever, whatever you want and whatever you see yourself really wanting now, if you really put time into it, you'll be able to achieve whatever you want. And that goes for anybody. Zeno dropping jewels. <laughs> no I problem. love it. <laughs> I do my Zeno after dark. I got a Zeno after dark thing going on. You know. What's that? Well, it's, it's, it's on another radio station. And I'm at this. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm... Are you like Zeno? Yeah, after, after dark. dark. Yeah. Like yeah. all sexy. Well, I mean, not Zeno. But definitely, <laughs> I can but, see you doing but that. definitely, <laughs> definitely, it's about it. Really, is a you know about our um, relationships, and oh, insight yeah. on I subjects. Like yeah, so that's um, a good leeway though, like yeah. with the love and hip hop. Thing. Sure, totally. sure, sure. So I'm excited about that. Um, you know, with love and hip hop, you really don't know what they have in store. To be honest, as far as what's going right. on, because the producers kind of direct you a little bit. Don't front. I mean, you know. It's it's reality, but at the end of the day, somebody has to tell the cameraman set up here, and you know I mean it's right. reality. Right, right, right. But you know it's it, it, this is your life, and when them cameras are on, you know it's necessarily it's it it's necessary that that you be yourself. Right. Because if not, it's gonna come across that way. You're gonna see it. You're gonna see it. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know, with me, I've gotten over like the hate. I've gotten over. People talking uh, mess yeah, and all that. No. Where's that? It just doesn't bother Was me anymore. Was that? Did you get over that before reality? Oh, of TV? course. Okay. I mean, people been yeah, going at Zeno for, for, for a long time. time. So I don't, you know, I, what I've do you always. Do you just pray? No, Stay. you just you just gotta know. You gotta have confidence in, in yourself, yeah. and and know that people, people, um, people get emotional and talk about stuff and attach themselves. To things that they've never met or don't know, right? You know that doesn't count. So what's up with you and Stevie J? You guys have been friends for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Sleeze been friends for a long time. Sleeze, Sleeze, perfect word for Stevie Sleaze -o. J. But you gotta, you gotta respect the fact that he's honest with it. Everything that he is, he's honest with it, and he's he's upfront with he's everything. So like. It's not like you know. It's not like Stevie. slash oblivious. But it's not like, like he's he's, he's, he's not. But you know what, with Stevie is, he's not arrogant about it. Like, Stevie doesn't walk around and think that he's, I think, um, Stevie I is just, he is right. who he is, and he's caught up. Is he still caught up with Mimi and Johnson? I think he'll always gonna, he'll always be caught up in the Who's your favorite girl? Oh, man. <laughs> man, listen. If I, For was real, to, I was to really answer that and say one, they're both. If you were in that situation, who would you pick? I don't got the patience. <laughs> He's like, I don't got the patience. Yeah, I just don't got the patience because trust me, what you see on camera is just but who would you a percentage if of. that was the situation? What would be your more I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't be able to deal. I don't think I would be able to deal with either one of them. Is it true that he was like staying with you and getting rides with you all the time? Of course. Have, like, no, no, Stevie always had the whip. He just, it's just that his license was messed up. But he was staying at the okay. crib, you know what I'm saying? Like when I first got that, you know, me and Stevie always stayed together. We had a place in Orlando. When uh, I was in New York, I would stay with him. Like, you know okay. what I mean? We've always been, a lot of it's been music, music, right, you know, right, music, right. you know what I'm saying? He got, he got his license back now, so you're going to see him driving his car, oh, you know. Look at Stevie. I mean, the BMW was his. That, that was oh, Stevie's okay. car. That was his car. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. He and just what are you driving? I got an AA. I got an Audi. What is that? Oh, okay. It's I don't like, what is that? That's all right. That's a little song, song, song. You know, I don't. Is that all you have? Do you have other That's it. No, okay. I just got, you know what I'm saying? I got a bike. I ride bikes. You know what I'm oh, saying? Okay. I ride motorcycles, yeah. But, uh, 
Yeah, I just, you know what I'm saying? I got my sedan for me and my kids, you know what I'm saying? That's Probably cool. eventually I'll give me a little sports car once I find my love and who, who my love interest will be. So I feel like, you know, like my kids, you know what I'm saying? Nobody could take the place of their mother, right. but you know what I'm saying? I, you know, it, it would be good for their father to have somebody. And, so you know, like kind of saying? show them that. Of course, to show that, you know? But you know, right. until then, that's the good I just gotta keep. Who's that guy? Ramon. Ramon. That's Ramon. And then <laughs> that's that's Benzino. Benzino. <laughs> That kicks in sometimes. Yeah. You know, guys are just like. I've, I've dated a lot. I'm of, rooting for Ramon though. I've dated a lot of celebrities. I've dated a lot of celebrities. Who? I've dated a lot of celebrities. Ooh. Anybody good? Yeah, a lot good. Like famous. one Wayne Bam, thank you, man, type shit. A couple of those, and a couple that, you know, we kept, you know, but um, the industry, man, I'm telling you, it's, it's, you know, and especially when I was in the source days when things was popping and everything was crazy, oh, man, it was like, you kidding me? You was getting it in. Getting it in. So you had your time to be the best, you know. I'm done with Now you're Ramon. I'm tired of that. Now you can show Ramon on the reality TV. Exactly, I'm tired of that. I don't want that no it's too much confusion dealing with different women. I don't want to be breaking no hearts. I don't want my heart broken. What celebrities were you with, though? What did you White girls? Know? Black girls? Or black girls? Spanish? I'm just saying. Um, Black, Spanish, mm -hmm. um, a white celebrity. <laughs> no, that's a real, that's a great question because I don't think I've ever dated a white celebrity. Oh. Did I? Would a, would a Playboy model be a white celebrity? Yeah. Well, not David White's celebrity. Damn, he was up in the Playboy Mansion. I mean, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Zeno, Zeno did good. That's another how me and Stevie really got along because, like, we really yeah, did the obviously. Stevie dated celebrity girls. I dated celebrity girls. Um, Do you still talk to Trina? I haven't seen Trina in so long. You know. You look like you still love her. <sighs> Do you? you know, um, it's not, you know. You just have a soft place in your heart. For of course, her. anybody, any female that I've been with, you know what I'm saying? Do you think it? you'd um, ultimately end up with a celebrity or a I don't, I don't know. regular chick? I don't know because, you know, you see girls on TV and it's like, yo, it's a turn up. When you can <laughs> see, yeah, when you see a woman. Is that Benzino saying that? Yeah, that's Benzino <laughs> saying that. But then you know what's behind door number one. Right. Once you open that door for about it. We, we, we got a whole bunch of band songs that we kind of put to the side and we're just finishing up our album working on, you know, Stevie calls it ratchet music, you know, <laughs> that big bass, right. you know, you can That's play dope. in the strip club, you know, yeah. so like, yeah, we got, we got some great songs, um, yeah, we're just putting the finishing touches to the album, you know what I'm saying, Stevie, he's doing a lot of dates, I'm, you know, I'm getting okay. a few dates as far right. as hosting and stuff, so yeah, you know, we plan on taking this thing to the next level, yeah. So you want to get back in the game? Like of course, that. yeah, I love really? music. Music's my first, that's my first. Do you still like write? Have you always write, wrote? Like, always wrote, and my writing's way better now. Like my oh, writing really? stepped it up 100%. And um, you know, my kids love doing music. I got a studio at the crib. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, so the whole time in Miami, I, I built a big studio out there. I actually broke it down and brought it here. Like we plan on building, like me and Stevie, plan on building a studio, you know, we're gonna put it in the house with a pool. Kind of like you do that circle house. In Miami, there's a place called Circle House. They have a pool, oh, okay. it's a house. Yeah. Yeah. The guys that did Bad Boys, Bad What You Gonna Do, yeah. Yeah, Inner Circle, they have like a studio. Mm. Shout out to Inner Circle, BB, and you know what I'm saying? Uncle Roger and Papa oh, back there. So you there. guys want to do something like that? Yeah, you know, you know, like we have the equipment. You know, we have made a lot of expensive equipment that we plan on building the studio, the pool, oh. the house, the woods. So is there a single? Yes. We got a single, it's called um, How Deep Is Your Love, but you know, the song that I actually brought you is called Undone. Okay. It's, it, it pretty much fits the format of, you know, Stevie singing on the hook. Like, people don't really realize how great of a singer Stevie is. Like, he's an amazing, amazing talent, you know? Okay. Like, I produce too, so both of us, like, everything that me and Stevie do, it's a co-production. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we've, we've always done it like that, you know? I've been doing music for a long time, like, you know, it's a love. I got a love for it, so I'm stuck with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. That's the first thing before reality TV and before hip hop weekly. Love music, of course. Okay. Of course. So, um, let's, you want to introduce the song? This is our new song with me and Stevie J, Sleezo, and it's called Undone. All right?
only on Wild 105.7. Until it came undone And now it's plain 